you have to be ready to be consistent exactly. you have to be consistent show up every day show out every day be in their faces they yes. might not patronize you right now but eventually they now will. most of the beats you see they are from ghana they are not from okay. here okay. so sometimes because people are not used to it you need to convince them to appreciate mm. because it's not the norm exactly. so, there are a lot of opportunities online now you can go online search for opportunities okay. or you can look out for something you have passion okay. for okay. something that you know that you will be happy doing it mm -hmm. don't just jump into anything because okay. your friend is doing yes, it exactly. so do something that you know you'll be happy doing it and you sell and monetize your skill Hey guys, so this video you're going to be watching is an interview I did with three business owners who were able to share their business secret with me, how they started their business, the capital they invested, and how they've been able to grow their business. So if you're a small business owner who is looking to grow your business, watch this video, and also if you're an aspiring entrepreneur who's looking to also start a business, also make sure you watch this video. And please, if you find this video valuable, please make sure you like, and also make sure you subscribe to the channel. But let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome to um, today's episode, right? So I'll be interviewing a business owner. She's the owner of A Test of Tea. So I just want to have her to do a basic introduction, her business and herself. Hi guys, I am Teresa Ifium. I am the founder and creative director of A Taste of Tea, a brand based in Calabar, Crush River State, Nigeria, that specializes in the production and sale of smoothies, fruity zobo, fresh fruit juice, tiger nut, and all your healthy, refreshing drinks. How long have you been in this business? I have been in this business, I'm guessing to four years. I started this business wow. on the 24th of November, 2019. Okay. Um, what have been your experience so far in your business? Hmm. Business is sweet on some days, crazy some other days. You know that whole stress, <laughs> yeah, that whole pressure. Yeah. But any chance I get, I'm thankful for my business and my customers because they are the reason it is of tea is still in business. Okay. Wow. What are the challenges you've been having in your business? dispatch problems okay. now it is of she does not have personal dispatch bikes so okay. we have to work with dispatch companies to get orders across to targeted customers okay. Okay. now that's a problem because you can send out drinks to a customer and then the mm. rider doesn't deliver for minutes hours and it looks like you're lying yeah. you haven't sent out the products meanwhile you have okay. and then fluctuating price rates you could drop your budget for market runs and mm. then when you get to the market you end up spending times yeah. two of what you budgeted for okay. but other than that the business this business journey has been a great one i'm right. thankful for it like i said earlier All right very very interesting right what, what amount of capital do you use to start your business well to start this business i cannot remember exactly how much mm -hmm. i use but i know like that with like 50k you can start small that's okay. if you want to start small okay. but if you want to start really large with standardized equipment okay. and all that you're talking about huge amounts of money because equipment they are not it's cheap nice. or yeah. like those very standard ones okay. but if you just want to start small then later you expand fifty thousand naira is okay for it okay so talking about equipment right what are some of the equipment that are needed to um develop a smoothie yeah you need your blender okay i don't do just smoothies but some key equipments you need you need your blender okay. you need your citrus juicer okay. you need your slow juicer for like cold press juices if you want to go into that okay. you need um you need coolers too you need a dispenser for okay. some events okay. and then you need to like buy your bottles Okay. Yes, okay. That, that, right. that so, so if we are to go back in time right mm -hmm. what is that one mistake um you've made in your business that you feel you could correct mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now this is like story time Hello. so when i started my business i went on a small break after i started you know the things that made me um, go on that break I thought I opened my business for my friends and family. Yeah. Trust me, you do not open your business for your friends and family. Exactly. You opened your business because you want to be in it. Yes. So all that forcing them to buy, mm. begging them to buy, doing ridiculous price <laughs> slashes that affects the business in the long run, exactly. I do not recommend. Okay. okay. And then when I started, I wasn't. I was too scared to work with dispatch companies. I thought yes. they would run away with my products. So I would go to do deliveries myself, and it is first you're putting yourself at risk yes. because you do not even know those people yes, and yes. then you're stressing yourself you now become too worn um, out to do the business so those were like few mistakes and then i walked on them and then the last one 
giving a lot of free products out because you think it will bring recommendations and referrals your way be very sure of the influencer Mm. before you pay money or give products and be very sure of the person do it because you want to do it not because you're being forced or cajoled into doing it exactly exactly that's very very interesting right so um before we go into the last question right what advice would you give to somebody who wants to start a smoothie business in nigeria in 2023 um the advice i'm going to give to you that want to start a business smoothie business any kind of business 23 i'll tell you you have to be ready to be consistent exactly you have to be consistent show up every day show up every day be in their faces they might not patronize you right now but eventually they will and another thing pay to learn a skill (laughs) if free knowledge most times is not really value if you pay to learn a skill you would value it yes 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 that's very 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 true right i have an experience is that but i'm not going to go into details right so another question right um what social media platform i i believe you use social media to promote your business right what are the like key platforms you use to promote your business key platforms i use to promote my business are twitter instagram and whatsapp in fact twitter gave me my big break okay, tell us tell us the story about that, twitter <laughs> okay just give us an experience you about twitter that, um, why do you say twitter is actually the, the best for you in covid year okay. it was twitter that i got my key clients from yeah. well-paying jobs and everything wow. the covid year was good for my business that was okay. what spiraled my business and catapulted me into wherever i am now that covid year yeah beautiful do you do bulk sales or retail right? i do bulk i do events okay. i do single sales okay. i do every everything okay. okay so last question if i give you five million naira right now to invest in your business what is that one thing you're going to spend it on five million naira first i'll do a little happy dance <laughs> and then i will invest in a generator okay. first of all okay that is my business is light dependent like okay. we all know and okay. the generator i have repairer today repairer tomorrow, tomorrow. it's just crazy <laughs> but if i get that money i'm getting a new generator and then i'm diverting it into some other little little equipment okay and i will employ more staff yes okay. to aid in job creation okay. because bro, i know a lot of people are unemployed exactly. and this country is just hell exactly. so i'm just going to bring some people out of low living okay okay very very interesting right so you've, you've heard this interview with um theresa the owner of a test of tea right so she, she sells smoothies she sells tiger nuts right every fruit juice you uh can imagine right she does bulk um sales she also does retail right she gets her for events right so you can reach out to her we drop in her whatsapp handle even her twitter handle so you can reach out to her i have another super amazing guest here with me give us a basic intro about you your name and how you started your business okay so my name is josephine okay but most people know me as mommy okay so my business name is mommy's place okay mommy's place because i deal in different things from blinks to okay. clothing accessories okay. you know so that's okay. what i deal in business has literally been a part of me like my mom introduced me to doing business while i was in the uni so she would bring me stuff i would sell like that like that like that so it's been part of me so from shoes bags like everything you know i used to sell so yeah all right that's very very good how long have you been in this business um for this particular one um almost a year now okay. um, literally a year now. you just call it a year right yeah. so what, what have been your experience so far in your business um so far it's not been very easy because i'm actually not doing the everyday okay. kind of okay. you know okay. so, uh-huh, because uh, yeah because now i'm doing more of blinks okay. now okay that is the trend that is what is okay. my my husband sews okay. Okay. okay so um from there i had that inspiration okay. to add something to what he's been doing okay. have a different you know face to yeah. fashion it yeah. shouldn't be the everyday exactly. thing you know exactly. uh-huh. then i also went into getting now most of the um 
beat you yeah. see they are from ghana okay they are not from okay. here okay. so sometimes because people are not used to it you need to convince them to appreciate mm. because it's not the norm exactly. so that mental work is what makes it difficult for people to really embrace the business before wow 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 that's actually very very interesting right um so if somebody wants to start a business like this right what advice will you give to the person um <laughs> doing business is not is not child's play yeah. you need to be determined to make it okay. uh -huh. you need to convince yourself that you don't just start and you start making the money mm. it's a process yeah. there is growth in it you make mistakes mm. you adjust your ways and then you yeah. go on like that okay so uh, i don't know if you can remember how much capital you you you, you started your business with can you remember and uh, not exactly okay but in my case now what happened was okay. when i wanted to start this i had the vision okay. so i started saving up gradually mm -hmm. then sometimes i'll buy stuff keep okay. and all that okay. so technically i used a bit over two hundred thousand oh, okay. yes to get my heat press okay. and the basic materials i needed okay so what okay so um let's say you were giving five million naira to invest in your business wow. what is that one thing you are going to invest in is it equipment what what is it um <laughs> honestly equipment is important okay but then human capital is okay. more okay because okay. in my case i have always been interested in impacting okay okay and this is a skill that okay. goes just beyond me yeah so if i have the money the first thing i will do is to build capacity in other people okay. then get my machinery okay. now for this you need your heat press okay. you know you need your stones mm. but right you need you need it there are honestly like so many things you need to have yeah wow, but mainly human capital when people embrace it now you yourself you even sell okay. because you've been able to communicate, uh, communicate your, your ideas your yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. wow that's actually very very interesting right so um i don't know do you promote your business on social media yes no 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 okay. it, yes i do okay uh -huh. i have an instagram page okay. for now now i noticed that um having to manage too many pages is a problem you know is a is a bit of a challenge it's so it's just, just yes so it's on instagram that okay so if, I, if someone wants to start a business in 2023 in this nigeria with how hard the economy situation is mm -hmm. will you advise the person to go into um, business or what will you say to that kind of person if you have the liver go for it <laughs> if you have the liver go for I mean, it it's yeah not, it's, it's not it's not, it's not, not for, for the faint heart <laughs> <laughs> don't try it, it. that's that very very interesting mm -hmm. if you want to reach out to mommy's place right she sells um beads she sells um slippers okay. she sells um t-shirt right Even branded t-shirt dan shiki so yeah. uh, i'll be dropping the link to her platform so you can reach out to her and uh, message her if you want to get any of them right and if you also want to get the skill she says she is also going to she's willing to impact people with the knowledge she has yes. right so if you want to get the knowledge of what she's doing she's also going to organize a training for you that's going to help you out thank you. we have a small business owner here and we want to just do a brief interview to get to know about her and her business right so it's good to have you here thank you so i just need you to give us a brief introduction of your business your name and what this business is about okay my name is grace matthias okay. creative director of grace crafties millinery control okay. my brand character basically for women headwears and wedding accessories okay. we design the most beautiful headwears and wedding okay. accessories okay. we also sell beautiful nightwear okay. and lodge wears okay. so yeah. how long have you been in this business mm, i started my business in 2016 this is okay. about this is, let's uh, say roughly around there for seven years now. seven years yeah wow wow that, that's been a very long time yeah. right so what have been your experience so far in this business mm. customers everything so far in this business it has been interesting okay. but you know in every business there will be 
ups and up down, down you know so i've experienced this good side the mm -hmm. bad side mm -hmm. all right so in everything it has been an interesting journey all right so um if somebody wants to get um any of this stuff like how much does it go for so the audience can know okay it depends on what you want like my brand is for every woman okay whatever okay in every level okay. you get i have things from 1000 okay. 2000 upward okay. Okay. and then there are some people that come to me i can give them things from 20000 okay. 30000 okay. depend okay. on what they are they, they want to order from me all right it's beautiful yeah. so what have been the challenges you've had in your business so far mm, basically the challenges has been fun like raising funds to okay. to boost my business okay. to grow okay. and gain more visibility okay. out there all right beautiful so if you're giving five million naira now to invest in your business what is that one thing you're going to do with it <laughs> giving five million naira, like i'll be the most happiest person okay. this brand is a brand it's a global brand okay Grace Craft is in okay. Country, it's a global brand okay. so if i'm opportune to get five million naira for my business uh I will I will invest it into this business because this is a very profitable business. Okay. Like it will boost me so that I can be an employer of labor, uh, employ okay. more hands to work okay. with me. Okay. We produce in large quantities okay. and we also sell to people that can resell right. and lots more. Right. Beautiful. Do you do um is it handcrafted or you is something you, you you purchase? How do you do it? Everything is handcrafted. Oh beautiful. There's nothing here that is so okay. everything here is handcrafted. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So someone wants to go into this of business what advice will you give to the person mm, i'll advise them first of all i know the internet has made it easy for you to learn some certain yes. things online yes. but my own ideology i believe in meeting the person that does this okay one-on-one -on -one okay. to teach you okay. because okay. there is this tendency that when someone is teaching you one-on-one -on -one, mm. you get to understand yes. better than yes. when you are watching online videos yes. so yes. advice that you you learn from the person directly and then you get more inspiration on how to start right. your own business. very very that's very very interesting right this one wants to start this business how much capital or i don't know if you can remember how much capital did you use to start your business no i just i i only i i remember i only raised money to register for my brand like okay. register but okay. any capital i didn't use any capital wow wow so so far and you've been able to build yourself because these stuff here are so much are so much more i think that there are at least hundred thousand naira worth of goods here already yeah. so you've been able to build from nothing to something so that's very very interesting now one last tip for somebody who wants to start a business in this economy in this nigerian economy what, what will you say to the person okay you all know as an entrepreneur in nigeria yeah. uh, it's not easy yeah. but if you want to start a business just start okay. i know most people have the capital to start something but mm. they don't have the idea of okay. what to do okay. there are a lot of opportunities online now you can go online search for opportunities okay. or you can look out for something you know you have passion okay. for okay. something that you know that you will be happy doing okay. it mm -hmm. don't just jump into anything because okay. your friend is doing yes, it exactly. you do something that you know you'll be happy doing it and you sell and monetize your skill all right yeah. thank you very very much it has been a very good time with grace craft is right yeah. so um if you want to reach out to grace i'll be dropping the link to her platform so you can reach out to her on social media if you want to contact her to get any of her items i will be dropping it there then if you want to also get a one-on-one -on -one training with her i'll also be dropping her contact so you can reach out to her and um, um she's going to train you thank you very much thank, thank you, you very much really